CBS2 is helping more customers in their long, frustrating fight against National Grid's gas moratorium. But even as some people are finally getting gas hookups, others are still feeling like pipeline pawns between the utility and Albany. Here's CBS2's political reporter, Marsha Kramer. The padlock on the outside of this Park Slope business says all you need to know about what's happened to Daniela Nelson and Jude Johnson's dream of being small business owners, opening a pretzel store. It's been twisted like a proverbial pretzel by National Grid, which won't give them a gas hookup. We've invested most of our savings in this. We've invested almost $200,000. The couple, which also needed a $250,000 small business loan to buy the gas-powered ovens and equipment, is almost at the end of their rope. If we don't open by next month, uh, I just don't know what we're going to do, to do. On May 15th, National Grid invoked a moratorium, refusing new hookups to 2,600 customers in Brooklyn, Queens, and Long Island as it battles with the state over a new gas pipeline. The company insists it can't increase demand without the pipeline. What confounds the couple is that National Grid approved the installation of a new meter in April before the moratorium. There was gas service here before. We got approval. We have an account number, and they they still said, uh, given their infrastructure, they can't uh, turn on any new customers. The company told them if they want gas, call your senator. The service denial comes as the State Department of Public Service tells CBS2 that since I demanded answers from Governor Cuomo and he ordered the agency to investigate National Grid in a growing number of cases that we have examined to date, the company did not demonstrate that the customers would in fact increase demand. So far, the agency has ordered National Grid to turn on service in 32 homes and apartments as it probes whether the company properly notified customers of the moratorium and whether it's actually justified. Meanwhile, Con Ed, which also has a gas moratorium, has a totally different policy. Small business owners, especially food and beverage companies, are allowed to use existing service for cooking, and customers planning renovations can reconnect once the job is completed as long as it doesn't add too much to the gas load. It's unfair. It's unequal treatment. Um, there's, it feels like there's no regulation or standard across the board with these utilities. Everybody makes so, their own decisions. Well, National Grid again denied my request to speak with the president about the moratorium, but we intend to keep asking. The same spokesperson also refused to comment on why their policy seems to differ from Con Ed's. Meanwhile, the owners of the pretzel factory also point out that National Grid is hurting the city's job base because they want to hire as many as 20 people to work for them. Dana. These stories of people following the rules and doing the right thing and they're suffering. It's, it's horrible and to th they say it's unconscionable and our hearts go out to them because all they want to do is make a living. Make a living. Marsha, thank you.